Today, I'll be showing you how to do your OKCoin taxes with Coinly. Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Nelly from Coinly and today I'm going to show you how to easily do your crypto taxes if you have the OK uh, coin wallet with the assistance, of course, of Coinly. So the breakdown of this video will be I'm going to tell you a little bit about the wallet itself. Then I'm going to jump into the very simple integration and then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. And then lastly, I'll show you where to go if you need further assistance or other resources. So well, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So this wallet was founded in 2013. That's a very early um, crypto exchange. 2011, 2013 time is kind of the beginning of, of these big exchanges. It's based out of San Francisco, California. It is currently a top 30 exchange by trading volume. Um, they have a lot of simple features which are very um, beginner friendly. They have a very clean interface, but they do also have um, earning options with various coins as well as OTC and advanced trading if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Their highest API rates are currently with coins like the Miami coin and STX. So let me know if you're making some fat returns on any of these coins. Okay, so that's enough about the wallet itself. Let's talk about the actual integration. So first we're gonna do is log into Coinly as we always do. Head over to the wallet section, click add wallet. We're gonna type in okay, and it should be one of the first ones here it is okay coin and then we're going to click two different options i'm going to start off with the uh, api although the api is very limited i'll still show you how to do it and then i'll show you what i believe is the better option which is through csv files so um, let's click this one and a few notes here so only last one month of transactions uh, can be retrieved only last three months of trade history can be retrieved margin trades are not supported so keep those things in mind and you're probably going to need to use the csv file anyway but I'll, sh I'll still show you how to do this just in case so heading over to their website in the top right corner from this drop down menu we're going to click the api um, button here option and then we're going to click create api key give it a name something like coinly um, passphrase is up to you make it six uh, characters so i don't know i'll call it nelly coinly so just so you can see it and then um, whitelist we're not interested in that permissions read only of course coinly is not interested uh, in touching any of your funds. And then lastly, we need an e uh, email code and we need the Google authentication. And there you have your secret key and your API key. So let's start and copy all this down. So first we're gonna type in the API key and then we're gonna go and type in the API um, secret right here. And then the pass, which was Nelly Coinly. And then we're gonna click secure import. Okay, so that was great and all, but as you can see, the API is very limited. Maybe that's going to change in the future. So let me show you how to get the CSV files, which I would say 99.9% .9 of users will need. So let's go back and type in um, OK Coin. I just realized they have very similar logos. Wow. Well, anyways, um, OK Coin, and then we're going to click Import from File, and now I'll show you where to get those files. Okay, so heading back into um, OK Coin in the top right corner, we're going to go to Assets and then we're gonna click account history. And here we have three different files that we can get. Obviously, if you're not doing things like margin trading, um, you won't need that file. But if you are, these are the three different files you need. So first, um, funding account in the right side here, you click download, select select an appropriate time frame. So for most people, it's gonna be a tax year and click create, um, create report. So that's one. And then you're gonna go over to spot, same thing. Uh, select a time frame and download and then lastly margin um, select a time frame and download and you're gonna have three different csv files okay so for me i only did one file just to show you as a demo but if you have three that's totally fine upload them each individually um, click import and just wait for your transactions to load in and there you have it, pretty straightforward. And if we head back into Coinly, into the wallet section, here is the OK Coin wallet with the transactions um, that have been imported and some of the currencies that I deal with. Now, the best part of all is how easily you can get the necessary tax documentation. So head over to tax reports. Here, you'll get a summary of all your transactions, your capital gains, um, your costs and expenses. It's just a really good area to keep track of your crypto activity throughout the year to see where your taxes are going to kind of end up. And then at the very bottom, you're gonna select a necessary tax plan um, for your country. And we have plenty of different options as you see on the screen before you. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D 
Form 8949. You can also export TurboTax um, both online and desktop versions. We have reports for the UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, uh, Australia, and then lastly for Canada, Germany, and other countries, we have the complete tax report. And this is a document you can also just give to your accountant to combine with other tax documentation, or alternatively, you can invite them um, to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm. We're still working on more content for that. And lastly, as I always mention, check your country's rules and regulations because this um, tax report from Coinly might be deductible. But that about brings us to the end of this video. If you need further assistance, I'll give you some resources with links down below. So we have firstly the Coinly Help Center with countless tax, um, you know, crypto tax articles. So you can learn more about that. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us email and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.